Ah, uh, Halloween. What a fun holiday. I mean, when you really think about it, there isn't much of a point to it, but it doesn't matter, because it's a good excuse for us to run around acting like zombies. In fact, let's just have a nice retrospective of us. On the count of three, let's all say brains in the way that a zombie would say it. One, two, three, brains. Hey, 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 hey! That's not how you write brains in zombie language. If a zombie's watching this, he's gonna be insulted. Now, I know what you're thinking. How do I know how to say brains in zombie language? Well, it's easy. I like to call this the science of language. When a human speaks, hard noises, like in this case the B and the A, take about one-tenth of a second to pronounce, whereas the soft noises, in this case R, I, N, and S, take 0.15 seconds to say. So let's just listen to this lovely fellow saying brains over here in zombie speak. Brains. Okay, so as you can see here, the B lasts for 0.2 seconds, therefore, there are two Bs. The R lasts for 0.35 seconds, there are three Rs. The A lasts for 0.65 seconds, therefore, there's seven As. The I is 0.15, one I. N is for 0.1, therefore, it's one N. And the S is... The S... Um... And the S, as you can see, there are three of them. So there you go. When you properly say brains in zombie language, it is written brains. So there you go. Now you know how to properly write brains in zombie language. I mean, not that it's really of any use when you think about it. Like, maybe, maybe if you're at a spelling bee and the guy reading the words is a zombie, then it, it, it has some use to it, but... And other than that, it's kind of just useless. Yeah, it just wasted your time.